Hi guys, and in today's video, we're going to be doing the top four four in one ESCs. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests for this video, and I'm going to go ahead and make it. Now, I chose these four from personal experience, um, and I know there's two in here that are basically unbeatable so far till this day. So let's get started. So the lo the bottom one on my list, which comes in the fo the fourth one, which comes in, is the Kikada 35 amp 41 ESC or Cicada. I'm so sorry about the name; I just can't get it right. Anyways, it's in this guy. It runs good. It's perfect. It's reliable. It's been lasting me for co quite a couple months now. This is my backup quad that I usually sometimes take, and sometimes I don't take. It's right here. And this one we built a very long time ago, and I've just been flying it since. I ripped it apart, maybe four weeks ago and did just some testing on it. I didn't have time to make a video. Uh, it did perform less than all, less than these here, but it, it does have some noise, but it's still okay. It's still good. But you know, it's, um, it's not bad. That's what I'm trying to say. Like I would give it, uh, let's just say a six out of 10 in four and one ESCs. So let's put this one to the side. Now, next on the list, believe it or not, is the Razor Star Tattoo four in one ESC. Isn't that crazy? So not the anniversary edition. The anniversary edition seems like it's crappy. It actually seems like a rebranded Typhoon, the first Typhoon 35 amp ESC from Airbot. And also uh, iPika also had one also, which was iFlight. Uh, that one I would kind of avoid because it looks like when I looked at the pictures, it looked exactly the same. And that thing was hella noisy. And I would stay away from it. Now let's go on the second on the list. This is the third one. So it is the Racer Star 35 amp tattoo four in one ESC. It's a D shot 1200 ESC and this thing's a beast. Now, why is it a beast? Well, what I did to test this, even though I tested it on the bench testing, it tested beautiful, but I also stuck it with a Maytech F405 flight controller, not the new ones, the older ones, the ones which are very sensitive to ESCs, which cause the twitch of death, the yaw twitch of death. This experienced none of that and it flew insanely gorgeous, like really gorgeous. So this is our motor testing quad on the channel. The motors are broken. Uh, this guy died in action while I was trying to save another quad from a tree. But yeah, we're going to be replacing these motors from some new motors from Xfoot. Now, Xfoot.be, I think, yeah, Xfoot.be contacted me and they provide me with two type of motors. They're both 2207 and one is a low KV and one is a high KV, 2500 KV and the 1650 KV. They're pretty insane. They are, um, they had these custom made for them from Sunny Sky. And Sunny Sky is making some good motors lately. Look at that. They're just like hardcore black. It's pretty insane here. They're using the silver copper winding. We're going to be doing testing on these. I'll be doing the thrust test this week, hopefully. I'm still trying. I really want to test these with four motors um, instead of just one. That's why I'm going to do it a little bit later because I want to build that adapter for the uh, my bench, my thrust stand that if you've seen the previous video of me going over what I'm planning on doing. So, yeah, we're going to be replacing the motors on this guy very soon. We'll see how well it runs. Now, the second on my list is the Dal RC engine. The Dal RC engine is pretty expensive. Um, it does have a lot of features. It takes, you know, it has a nice fat heat sink on it. And there was no noise. There was maybe a tiny, 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 tiny bit of noise. But in the bench testing, when we did the bench testing, it was spectacular. However, it still did not come close to the Tico Hollybro Tico 32 4-in-1 ESC. Now, this is at the top of the list. Okay, now you might say, well, why? You didn't even fly it yet. Well, let me tell you why. One, I've been testing and testing and testing and testing and testing and testing this, and this thing is spectacular. It's it's insanely good. I mean, the the, the, the mo I'm telling you, the motor you think is becoming underpowered because it sounds so freaking smooth. I cannot explain this to you, but if you ever, you know, just, I don't know, just strap your quad bill. Well, no, I don't even recommend doing it. I'm not going to tell you how to do it because I don't want you to hurt yourself. But some people will know what I'm talking about. The motor is like a thousand. It's not like someone like who's a professional who would notice the sound difference. It just, it sounds buttery, like absolutely insanely buttery. And another thing, another couple of cool features about this is it does have a telemetry pad. It has, yeah, it just has everything. This thing is insane. Um, so I will be building this very soon. I, the reason why I haven't built it is because I want the ultimate setup for this. So I did, that's why I also purchased another Kikute V2 flight controller, the own one. Insane. I mean, you, you, if we pair it up with this and that has a sensitive gyro, 
And then we use the gra gravy flight. I'm just kidding. Butter flight. And we are just going to have a sick beast on our hand. And I'm, I know I'm saying beast, obviously in quad, but this one's going to be a monster. We'll just leave it at that. We're just like a dragon screaming in the air. So it's going to be pretty insane. So this so far is the top one ESC. This is the number one ESC I've ever tested. And I just really admire and I want to get another one because I want to keep one just for testing. And I want to put another one in the, in the, in the quad. And um, yeah, this thing is a must have. And by the way, I just checked they are back in stock. I mean, they are now they're selling them on Banggood and get FPV. I'll leave a link to every I'll, I'll leave a link to these down below. Um, if you have the cash and you want peace of mind, I highly recommend you pick this pick one of these up. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed. The soldering pads are very large. Um, it's just overall a very nice little beast. Uh, you can't go wrong with this. You got current sensor for everything. It's a beast. It's an absolute beast. I'll leave a link to the review of this and every everything else I have here also. So if you want to go into more detail and more depth, I just wanted to make like this little quick video for us just to see this and just to kind of summarize it for everybody. Uh, so overall, you know, this is my top one favorite. This is the best one, I would say, from all the testing and why I want the camera focus. All right. So yeah, this is this is this is gonna go on a special quad. I don't know which quad just yet, but it's going to go on a special one. That's for sure. So, yeah, this is the number one ESC so far. Now, uh, what else do we have? Yeah, the Kikute V2. I also picked up some more Tico 32 ESCs, as we can see here. Uh, these are also the best ESC you could possibly purchase that's single. Um, these came out before the Tico 32. Now, be careful because there's another Tico ESC, and 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 this is the Tico 32-bit uh, ESC. This is the 4 and 1 32-bit ESC. This is D-Shot 1200. So there's two Tico. There's a Tico S and a Tico 32. This is a Tico 32. If you really want a good 4 and 1 ESC, Tico 32. If you really want just a standalone ESC, headache-free. And just, you know, that's it. You don't care about anything else. You just want what's good and just to have peace of mind. This is what you're going to go pick up. Um, pick this up and I, I promise you, you, you will not be disappointed. And please leave all your experiences with these ESCs down below in the comment section. Let people see and let me know if someone noticed an issue. But I swear to you, the... The performance, the, the, you know what, I, I mean, I, this is, you know, this is why, why did I buy a second pack? The first quad that I built with the Tico 32 ESCs, I did not want to take apart, but I had to take one ESC so I could put it on my thrust stand because I do not trust any other ESC to give me the real results of a motor other than the Tico 32. And that's why I had to buy more. So I need to buy another just one separate so I could <laughs> rebuild that quad. But, ah. Uh, you can't go wrong with Tico 32 ESCs I, 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 at all. These are just insanely good. And um, they're a bit expensive, but it's, um, it's headache free. No noise. They're going to be compatible with most boards. Now, what do I mean by compatible with most boards? Some boards are susceptible to noise, as in gyros, as in FPV feed. Maybe they don't have a good filtration on the 5 volt regulator, which is causing all weird stuff. Maybe even sometimes your flight controller reboots in the middle of the air. That could be and due to bad ESCs. And some ESCs, like the Little B, I would highly avoid Little B ESCs or what do they call it? Yeah, Little B ESCs. I would highly avoid those. Those are one of the worst ESCs I've ever tested. The voltage spike, the backlash of all that current is so terrible. You know, you just go Google it. You'll see many people having just components burn. The camera catch fire, the flight controller catch fire. Uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's not good. So here's a hint for the day or a tip for the day, which is going to be very useful to most. Now, if you bought some ESCs, maybe some budget ESCs or just some, you know, just small ESCs and you bought yourself some fat ass motors and you put it on and you're going to go fly and the motors sound like they're grinding. That's because the ESC cannot handle those motors. You will either need to downgrade your motors or upgrade your ESCs. Now, with something like this, you never have to run into that issue. But that's something very important. You could sit there for a trillion hours trying to figure it out, increase the ramp up power. It might help a little bit. But at the end of the day, your quad's not running very efficient and it's not very running very well. And it, it'll just, you know, it's a, it's, it's a recipe for disaster and problems and headache. That's what I'm trying to say here. So... Um, yeah, the Tico 32 ESC, the 4-in-1 ESC is the best 4-in-1 ESC I've ever tested, I've ever seen, and 
I probably we probably won't see another one another good ESC come out this year for a very long time but this thing is an absolute beast as you can see I still I'm still testing it I, I just love it it's just insane what makes it so good is it all the caps or is it the cap array what, they're using low ESR caps mixed with some normal caps it's just you don't even need to add a low ESR capacitor for example Dell RC they give you a low ESR capacitor just in case so they know that it could be a little bit of noise and there is a little bit of noise I'm not gonna lie there is a little bit of noise in there but compared to everything else it's it's not much but compared to this this thing is just like fucking just a straight line it's just insane um so yeah i'll leave a link to the the reviews of all of these down below this is just a summarized uh 401 esc video for the people who really wanted it and just don't want to keep looking around uh i'll leave a link to all these down below I highly recommend the Tico 32 41 ESC. If you can't get the whole bundle with the with the Kakute V2 all-on flight controller, just connect them via the, the cable. You're good to go. And I mean, you're good to go. Just put it with any motor you want, any frame, and go have fun. That's it. Uh, that's why I love the Tico uh, ESCs. They're just... Um, they're my favorite and they're the best. What, what can I say? They are the best from testing, from everything from flight. I've tested them in flight. We've had the videos, the review of them. They're just insane, except this one just yet. But overall, that's it, guys. So that's going to conclude for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, many of you requested this, and here is the video. Um, and currently, I am, I will be doing newer tests for 41 ESCs, actually. Uh, if you guys watched the video, I don't know, two videos back, with the vlog of the shop i'm actually going to start working on the adapter next week for the thrust test stand that i use the custom one where actually i put uh custom scripting and i could have the motor do whatever i want to inject noise i'm going to do a full setup a full adapter to include four motors and a 4 one esc or even single escs and watch the overall noise in the whole quad while simulating flight on each motor doing some crazy maneuvers so that'll be upcoming and that'll be pretty interesting. And the three axis gimbal, well, I think it's lost in the shipping. I have no idea what happened to it. It's supposed to be here last month, I think, or maybe this month, in the beginning of this month. But anyways, that's not the point. So overall, this is a video uh, in top four, four one ESCs. And uh, if you want a headache free, pick up one of these and you're good to go. And that's it, guys. So that's going to conclude for this video. Please consider joining my Patreon. Help me support this mission. Help me support this channel. Um, and you can also use affiliate links down below. Those greatly, greatly, greatly support the channel. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.